over to the left here there's a road down the back about three kilometers to the entrance and had a good look around there yesterday the waterfalls and the suspension bridge and and all of that nice little park and this is a nice little place to stay as well uh, the rooms are really nice um, they tell me it's six years old but you think it was six months old uh, really nice spick and span but again hard to find um, GPS came to my rescue again yesterday uh, you have to look for the little coffee shop at the front and the resort is just behind the coffee shop. You check in at the coffee shop. Um, it's a good location, great for the park. There's a big 24-hour 7-Eleven just down the road, about 200 metres, which is handy. Seems a bit out of place in this location, but there it is. Um, lots of restaurants and coffee shops. There's a, I'm just going up the road here to have a morning cup of coffee. There's um, a little set of three coffee shops all in a row. I think they call it the um, 
um, lay-by spot or something on the map, but it's uh, nice, three nice little coffee shops there. So we're going to go and have a coffee. It's been a um, grey old morning, really. Today it was it's threatening to rain earlier. There was a mother of all storms brewing last night. Um, thunder and lightning when I went to bed. Um, I think it's been raining a little bit, but nothing too drastic. But that sun's starting to break through the clouds now. Um, another easy ride yesterday. In fact, it was the easiest ride of the lot. Uh, another 20 kilometres exactly ride. And it was 75% uh, all downhill. So it was, it was cruisy, dead cruisy, really nice ride. Um, right, so uh, we're going to go and have a coffee and then we'll work out what we're going to do from there. Well, I just had a little stroll up to that uh, coffee shop complex that I was telling you about. It's um, only about 20 metres from the hotel. And it's a nice cool morning, so I thought I'd stroll, leave the bike where it is. Um, although that sun's starting to come out a bit more now. Um, here we go, one, two, three, all in a line. They've got a nice little lay-by here, right at the bottom of the hill. Um, I'm going to pop in this one, but it's not, not open yet. Um, a bit too early by the looks of it. I um, don't know what it's called. Animal farm, maybe, judging by the lawn there with all the animals. Um, anyway, we'll have a coffee in a minute. I think the one down there is open, so we'll try that one. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to stay here, I think, for today. I'm a bit worn out. The old legs aren't what they used to be. I'm a bit, bit knackered. The uh, walk around the National Park yesterday took it out of me a little bit. Um, I think earlier I said it's a nice little park. Well, that doesn't really do it justice. It's an enormous place. Um, so I've probably walked around for two hours there. I'm a bit, bit worn out. Um, plus a bit of a hangover this morning because that 7-Eleven was a bit too handy for beer, as it turns out. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll have a, a day R&R, &R, I think, just put my feet up and take it easy. Recharge the batteries and recharge all the batteries on the devices as well, because um, the previous room didn't have any charges, so everything needs recharging. The movie cameras, my tablet, um, my Walkman, um, everything needs recharging. So we'll have a day just recharging everything and uh, get back to it all tomorrow. Um, been trying to think of a nice little title for these um, silly little movies that I'm putting together and I thought maybe over the hill and far away because I'm definitely over the hill these days and I'm getting further away from home by the day um, or I don't know uh, coffee shop coffee shop kid goes bananas maybe but I'm not really a kid anymore answers on a postcard to the BBC Right, I'm going to go and have a coffee. This is uh, not Trevor McDonald reporting for not the ITV News.